The Wellness Show, episode 106. And by the way, watch right to the end. We have a special offer for everyone. Welcome to The Wellness Show, a podcast on health and wealth. I'm your host, Tyson Bannigan, the founder of the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy. Join me as we get the latest insight, tips, and strategies from wellness providers, coaches, and successful heart-centered entrepreneurs, and much, much more. So welcome to the Wellness Show, and today on the call we have Nanaria, the Princess of the Sea, is one of her names, one of her handles, she has many. She's a troubadour, she's a world traveler, and she's speaking to us from England. And today she's going to talk about the meditational hypnosis and how that can change your life. And so a little bit of background. Nanaria is also the founder director of the Diamond Light Spiritual Oneness Center and the creator of the meditational hypnosis course which combines both methods to heal and transform lives. She's a gifted channeler, healer, seeing your soul and its path from the age of six. Nanari was originally raised a Catholic. I would, ref I would think that she would be a Reformed Catholic now. We sit in a church and we see, would see spirit guides, loved ones who crossed over in auras. As a spiritually gifted reader, she has over 30 years experience in channeling spirit dream interpretation, aura, and many other forms of readings. And so, Manaria, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here, Tyson. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. So what are you doing over there? I'm actually traveling the world. I am helping to benefit humanity. I'm taking my message here on the road of what my meditational hypnosis course does and what my soul channel readings do, and um, it's just been a whirlwind adventure, and I'm absolutely loving it. So I hear that you have a big adventure coming up, that you had a uh, really exciting um, request around Christmas, so tell us about that. Yes, actually, uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman, who is a professor at the Department of Neurology in Stanford University School of Medicine, uh, recently contacted me. I actually contacted him a few months back um, because he had like a TED Talk like video on his um, YouTube. And I, it was all about brainwave patterning and how to shift your consciousness and to heal. And that's the whole underlying basis of my meditational hypnosis course. I help people with anxiety, with PTSD, with fears, traumas, stress, all these kind of things. And so I was watching his video and I decided to contact him and thank him for the video and let him know how much in alignment it was with my course, never thinking I'd ever hear from the gentleman. Um, well, a few days before Christmas, he emailed me and he said, you know, I would love to have your course so that we may use it for our brain wave patterning uh, studies. So I was just completely humbled and completely uh, just wow, you know, and so I sent him my course and it is now in Stanford University's hands and they will be utilizing it for their further their research and I look forward to hearing from him again soon. That's very, very exciting. I know, um, you know, using the technology I have, which is quantum sound therapy and using your voice and entrainment to reach the highest frequency possible in your field so the lower frequencies, you know, automatically come out. It's a very powerful way to do that and to help people be the best they can be. So uh, do you teach people in your course how to do uh, self-hypnosis? Absolutely. I combine both hypnosis and meditation. There's some similarities to meditation and hypnosis. There's also slight differences. And what you alluded to is actually perfect because the body is really held together by energy, vibration, and frequency, and sound, as you know. And it coagulates into our body temple. And when we have any presence of disease or disruption of uh, feelings and emotion that's causing us to be under stress or anxiety, it brings about an imbalance. And so the task of the course is actually to help correct that balance of energy through the vibration and frequency as you're talking about. And something unique that is part of my course has to do with brainwave pattern shifting. Many people know about uh, alpha and beta and theta. You've heard of theta healing and things of that nature. But usually when you're talking about trauma or you're talking about abuse or you're talking about anxieties, deep-seated fears and whatnot, not just from this life, but all other lives, what tends to happen is, is that your brainwave pattern, you need to actually go deeper 
in most cases. And most people do not know about things like delta brain waves, epsilon brain waves, hypergamma and gamma brain waves, and lambda brain waves. And I talk about that, and I actually show you how to shift your frequency into those brainwave states to actually provide maximum healing for you or for those who wish to teach this course and go on further and help others. Well, that's really exciting. I just finished a course on um, clearing uh, trauma from the field with uh, Don Clark, in which he talks about at those deep levels that what happens is the DNA literally gets rewritten. And so when you have a core fracture like that, you have to reach that deep level of attunement with that person through hypnosis or, or, or sound therapy or whatever to help them release at that level. Otherwise, the re release won't occur. So that's really quite exciting. Exactly. And, and that's what my course does and the sessions I do with people as well, meditational hypnosis. Like, for instance, if you're dealing with something traumatic like PTSD, it's a reoccurring program that's going over and over and over again. And at the level that most people heal at is theta brave brainwave frequency. And when your baseline, what I call your baseline is already theta, you're meeting at that same level, you're not going to get the deeper healing work that needs to be done. You have to be able to go deeper into that programming and actually, in essence, rewrite it. And the reason why uh, Stanford Medicine, a school of medicine, is so keen on this is because they've actually seen evidence of how music and our voice and the frequencies used, the Hertz frequencies used, can actually shift things like paraplegics can actually walk again. Um, people who have Alzheimer's shift too. So yeah, this is exciting because all the scientific evidence about what you're talking about is really coming to the fore. You can see it on Fortran scans. You can see how the sound affects the actual aura of the person. You can see the holes in the aura closing up. You can, you know, it's a very exciting time. Whereas what we, through uh, in intuition, used to know was true and believed is now supported by scientific evidence. So. The fact that you have Stanford actually being able to produce the, the rational scientific evidence of what's happening to your aura or your field or however you want to describe it is very, very powerful. Whether we arrive at it through sound or whether we arrive at it in the way that you're doing. But what I like about what you're doing is that it uh, teaches a person how to do it on their own. So no other technology is needed, just themselves. That's powerful. Exactly. And I think that's where we have been in a world where it has always been you had to go to some sort of guru or teacher to be able to receive this type of initiation or to receive a certain session to be able to heal. And I still do that for people who, you know, need that. But to the ability to be able to do it themselves is absolutely divine. I started out actually in self-hypnosis. Um, my first son, when I gave birth to him, I did it completely through self-hypnosis. Um, and it was actually completely beneficial. And adding the added benefit of meditation, we were actually able to go into deeper states and different frequencies, actually makes it just all the more powerful in that sense. And I know it works because I've seen so many people that I have helped, actually. I've had people who have come to me being completely shy, completely under um, addiction and have transformed their lives as a result of it. And it, so it's, it, what's unique about my course is also the fact that it does combine both methods. You usually see um, people who just do meditation or they just do hypno, hypnosis or hypnotherapy. And this is actually the unique combination of both. And so this is something that most people have you know, not really heard of and this is why I wanted to be able to discuss it with you. Well, that's great. I'm going to make a bit of a jump here. And um, you talk about the sound carrying energy in ways that are tran can lead to transmutation and transformation. And that's the other part of who you are, right? As a singer, songwriter, and producer, but that's part of the work that you do through, well, that's, I would say, uh, your love givings or your love fest, or maybe that, I don't even know how to describe it, but you, you will do a better job, but I'm trying to get the words correct about how you gift that part of yourself to the world because you truly do gift it. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And yes, actually I do. What it's really known is, is the soul song. Mm 
It's the vibrational frequency of who we are and our soul signature pattern. We have a specific frequency pattern that we have. And I give that through the gift of song. Every soul that's here on this earth actually has their own vibrational frequency. And it comes through in the form of a word or through that vibration or that song. And I'm able to give the gift of that to people. In fact, I just did a session with a woman here <laughs> in England um, just a couple of nights ago. Um, we did it for the full moon. We did an activation and we also did her soul song session. And what came through in channel from me in the vibrational frequencies of the singing, the words, and also the intonations, which is also what I teach in my course, had her have a complete shift in consciousness. She's now opening up. She just messaged me actually before we went on air here to uh, tell me she's opening up and seeing spirit more now. Um, she felt the presence of her twin soul now more, more strongly. She's actually able to tune in and channel now uh, where she wasn't a couple of days ago. And that's the vibrational power. And we all have it actually. It's just a matter of tuning into it. And some of us have it stronger than others. And so this is the gift that I give. And I'm doing this throughout the UK. And like I said, it's just been absolutely awe-inspiring. Well, I love synchronicity because it's always a clue that we're closer to the divine flow in every moment, with every thought, with every word, with every deed. Uh, the, my website that deals with quantum sound therapy is set, set your soul song free. So we're absolutely on the same wavelength. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to shift gears yet again. Just uh, I, I have this sense that uh, as we go into 2017, it's a year one. It's a very, very, very powerful time on the planet. So powerful, I'm having a little bit of tripping over my tongue. <laughs> so I will slow down and catch my words. But what's coming to me is that uh, I have a feeling intuitively that you have some ideas about what would be an ideal experience right here on this show right now for the listeners that would help them approach 2017 being the best that they can be. I just have this feeling you know exactly what that would be. So could we have a live experience of that right here, right now? Absolutely. Um, I can actually sing it in a soul song for you. There you go. So that, there we are. There you go. There you go. And Poya shema kaya nante ina shomo kaya se ancha hi markuye una boya ay kina shomo yana ti. May 2017 bring you the essence of you coming into who you are, remembering the soul of who you are. Now is the time for those of us who are here on this earth to really shine our light. No more holding back, no more hiding. Time to come out and shine, dearest ones. I leave this with you, knowing that you are beautiful souls and I love you and bless you. Thank you, that was beautiful. So uh, in and you do this chanting, uh, it, it sounds very Hawaiian, but I'm assuming that it's not necessarily Hawaiian, that it's very ancient, one of the ancient languages. Is that correct? It is. It's Lemurian, which is actually source energy language or God spirit, whatever you choose to call such. Um, and it just channels through me. I've actually been channeling this since I was the age of six or seven on the playground at school. Didn't know what it was until many years later. But yes, that's what it is. And it does have uh, Hawaiian in it because the basis of all of our languages is brought forth from this language, Aramaic and um, Hawaiian, and then all of the other languages come from this language. So if you were doing this at six, 
on the playground, then you uh, obviously had some pretty intense experiences and an empath when you were a kid. So um, how did you come to terms with all of that? Because a lot of listeners on this show are empathic and some of them are really wrestling with, you know, how do I ground, how I deal with all this information? What's mine, what's theirs, what's the planets, what's the galaxies? Trying to sort that all out for a lot of people can be overwhelming, particularly for some of the new generation coming through where they're full blown aware and the planet isn't quite ready for them yet. So any clues around all of that? Absolutely. It's really being in tune to your heart and not the emotional heart, the intuitive heart. The emotional heart kind of goes, wow, you know, here and there and everywhere. But the intuitive heart is that small, still voice that's inside of you that's always giving you guidance that oftentimes we stop listening to. For example, we'll get maybe an intuitive hit to go left instead of right if we're driving. But, you know, we're running late to wherever and we just dismiss it and we go right instead because that's the way we have to go because that's where we're supposed to go. And we completely miss an opportunity because of that. So it comes from really being in the stillness and listening within and not listening to that monkey mind of ego. So it takes practice. I mean, I came here with these gifts. And so for me, in answering your question, that was kind of like... Um, really an integration that took over time, but really it's a practice for most people. And it, it's like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets, then the more you're able to use it, right? So it's, it's a practice, really. And that's what I can say to people. I mean, there's a lot more deeper work. When I channel with people, I'm channeling through their uh, other lives. I'm channeling through their actual soul's purpose here, what their soul's blueprint is and whatnot. And so it's also tuning in within that, too. Right. So uh, did you, how did you deal with all of the energy around you that, said, uh, you know, take it easy, uh, get real, uh, settle down, become more grounded, stop daydreaming, get a life, and all those sorts of things that I'm sure you were confronted with being very unusual, not the normal kid who was supposed to sit up straight uh, in the desk. I just can't see you doing that. So how did you handle all that? Yes, you're correct. I never was one to do that. <laughs> Um, I, I guess I could use the words of Wayne Dyer in this instance. Um, he was noted to say that he never took no for an answer. Um, I'm kind of like that. <laughs> I don't take no for an answer. Um, and it really was, it was just this inner knowing from source that I knew, the master artist, that I knew who I was. And no matter who tried to put me down, I mean, I went through extreme abuse as a child. And um, on through my later years, I was raped and many other things that happened to me. So I can relate to a lot of the people who have been through this. And for me, it was being just so connected to source, to that source energy and just having that inner knowing. And the way I bring it through, it's kind of like the inner knowing that a mother has for her child. I don't wake up in the morning and go, hmm, I wonder if I love my children today. No, I just know, right? I just know. And that was that inner knowing that no matter how I was put down, no matter how people tried to dissuade me from my path, I knew who I was deep down. And I just continued to persevere in that. And it, it's just, it is that inner knowing. It's being connected to source. Um, ground, grounding is actually not having anything to do with the earth. We use that as an earthly context, and it's great to be grounded into the earth. But really, grounding means being connected to source and remembering you're connected to source. And a lot of times, and this is what I teach in the meditational hypnosis course to tie that in, is the breathing technique the centering, calming, heart centering technique that actually rewires our brain system because we're usually in that limbic hijack where we're just like monkey mind. And like you said, you know, listening to all those voices. Absolutely. And that's just the beginning of what I teach in the meditational hypnosis course. There's a whole lot more to it. Um, music, uh, frequencies. Um, in fact, I created a frequency that is not known um, here on this earth that actually helps wipe out trauma, wipe out anxiety, wipe out fear. And it's embedded into the frequencies of the music that's used for the course. And then also when it comes to Hertz frequencies as well, there is that 
Schumann frequency that you hear about, you hear about the other Hertz fre frequencies and whatnot. I've combined all of them and some unknown frequencies um, as well into this course. So you can get bits and pieces of it on the internet, but you can't get the whole thing in one spot. And if you notice, you're feeling a lot calmer and centered now, aren't you? Absolutely. So you're using, uh, are you using the 443 or the right frequencies and all of that, but you're combining them with... Actually, it's 432. 432? <laughs> 432, yeah. 432, 528, um, and there's also above and beyond that. There's 639. There's, um, uh, what is it? I think it's 1128. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch re my own course. <laughs> but yeah, there is a whole uh, wide range of frequencies that are actually unheard of and not many people know just like not many people know about the eight phases or stages of the brainwave frequencies that i mentioned earlier so could you talk a bit about that because this is important i mean this is really has to do with consciousness it has to do with vibrational frequencies on the planet it has to do with the instantaneous release of who we are when we're in the right entrainment the right frequencies both individually and collectively so this is really important work yes and people understanding this on a deep level so um yeah can you have a want to talk a bit about that absolutely 528 hertz frequency is what many people know about but there's other frequencies that are interlaid within that and the music that's used for the course is actually um by a gentleman who is also <laughs> in canada and um he plays in what's known as open tuning. So he actually encompasses all the different frequencies that can release guilt and hurt and pain and shame and all of those things in his music. Now embedded within that, I also have geared specific for Hertz frequencies like the 528. Um, and I'm using 528 as an example because that's pe what people can most resonate with at this moment. 528 Hertz frequency is the frequency of love. And basically what happened is in 1930, I think it was either 1930 or 1933, um, the standard tuning was actually changed to 440 frequencies. So if you look at classical music, that's why we resonate with classical music so much. Four, four, it's in, done in 432 hertz. Okay, and 440 is what it was changed to. So you, this is where you hear all the dumbed down music now that we've had pretty much since that time. And what that does is, is it brings about a consciousness of being dumbed down. It brings a consciousness about of fear, of anxiety, of stress, of all these things we've been talking about. And so when you go into the higher frequencies, you actually, very similar to what crystal bowls do, you actually are able to entrain your brain, as you call it, or shift your consciousness into that, what we call higher frequency of multi-dimensions in which you can actually access healing. 528 Hertz frequency is actually the gateway. And so this gentleman who, who I'm using his music with his permission, he plays in open tuning, which automatically sets it at the 528 Hertz frequency and then interlays the other frequencies within. And this provides, when you listen to it, I mean, you're carried away in this sense of just bliss. But what really is going on in your brain is you're actually rewiring your brain synapses to provide healing. That incorporated with meditational hypnosis techniques that I share in the course actually has you have a permanent shift, not just a, you know, shift for a moment. Yeah, so uh, that makes perfect sense to me. And those correct hertz frequencies you know really do uh, uh free one up and i would think that they also lead to overtones where the other ones are the flat ones do not have overtones so you know if you use a crystal ball or uh, or tibetan ball when you play it the sound seems like it goes forever those are the overtones that build up on they're like a nested energy within energy with energy with energy and resonate in the body opening the heart and the mind and the body and the soul and the flat notes that we're being given now do none of that the other aspect yeah. is if we were actually to uh charge the water with those frequencies one would be a perfect crystal and the other would not be so you can see it actually manifest in the physical as not a perfect vibrational frequency so that's really important so I have another question for you. When do you, because I get the whole idea of using the right, correct sound, 
that frees people up because it's literally aligns them with who they are, who they've always been, and probably forget who they are because they're clouded with all these other frequencies. So they, when they remember who they are, they start to heal. So that makes perfect sense. So in the guided aspect, I'm assuming that you've developed a technique that in the descent, in the hypnosis, as you get them ready, that you're taking them down through the brain states down to delta x and epsilon is that correct correct and the way you actually do that is through what you were just saying the intonations the un, the overlaying frequencies and there's also underlaying and multi-dimensional so it's like very interwoven and there's a specific technique that i teach in the course in which if you noticed, and I just did a preview of it when we did that little meditation there, how I did the overtones and the undertones, and I was bringing us deeper. And it's through the voice inflections that we actually are able to do that. But most people don't know about that, and they don't tune into it. Throughout this whole program, if you notice, I've been doing it, actually. <laughs> it's just automatic. It's within me that, you know, every time I speak. And so a lot of people come to me and say, Oh my God, your voice is so soothing. Oh my God, you know, I've had a shift in consciousness just watching one of your videos. How is that? Well, it's not just so much what I'm saying necessarily, it's the intonations and the frequencies that I'm purposefully embedding. But for me, it's not even purposeful as in I'm having to force it, it's just natural for me. And okay. so I teach people actually how to do that. Okay, we got less than a minute to go. And so how do people get hold of you to work more with you to learn how to do all of this? to set their soul song free. Absolutely. Well, for the soul song sessions, I have a specific website, which is soulsongsatsongoftheheart.net. And then there's my main website, which is diamondlady.net. And on there, you can get access to all my social media and my email and all of that stuff to be able to connect with me for a session or for the course or anything, my books or anything that I uh, have available. Great. So what's the last thing you'd like to leave the listeners with? The last thing I would like to leave the listeners with is you are beautiful. You are magnificent. You are whole, perfect, complete, and beautiful simply as you are right now in this moment. All of you, bumps, bruises, magnificence, and all. Remember that. Remember who you are, no matter what anybody tells you. Thank you ever so much for being on the show. And of course, we're going to have you back. We want to know all the latest research from Stanford University and how you're doing. So bye for now. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. For quality online wellness products, courses, and services, visit our sponsors, thewellnessstore.ca and the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy located at thewellnessacademy.ca. To stay in touch, visit us at thewellnessshow.ca. And until next time, be healthy, wealthy, and wise. Hey, thanks for watching right through to the end. We do appreciate you here at The Wellness Show. And to show our appreciation at this wonderful time of year, we're going to be giving away a $50 gift certificate over the next 12 episodes. And at the end of the 12 episodes, we'll be giving a $500 grand prize gift certificate that you can spend at either The Wellness Store or The Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy. Now, how do I get in and in to win this? Simple. Like, share, comment, or subscribe to our channel, and then come over to our Facebook page, The Wellness Show, and let us know that you did so. While you're there, you can also comment and enter into the conversation about the current episode and have answers back from Tyson and the people that were interviewed. So again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell us you did so on the Facebook page. It will enter you in to win a $50 gift certificate, 12 of those, or the $500 grand prize gift certificate to be spent at the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy or the Wellness Show.